While in the past, you only had corporations doing a top-down deployment in order for them to be the correct way to deploy Lean Six Sigma, today you see everything from a top-down deployment to a training uh, uh, internal resources to, to lead the change initiative to just coming in and fixing processes, enabling teams to, to, to take ownership of their process and do a better job at it, and then being done. So anything I, I, is correct nowadays. I, I, I'm going to say the company has to decide. I'm going to say there's an industry best standard. In other words, I, if somebody were to ask me, what, what would you recommend in terms of a company doing to make sure their deployment now is self become self-sustaining, everlasting, uh, qualified people, and so on, there's an industry standard. And I could certainly tell them what that is. But I've learned over the years that you know, companies, even though they say they're unique, they, you know, many companies have the same problems that we've talked about, waste, time, and so on. But every company, or I should say many companies, look at themselves as different, and they'll describe why they're different and so on. Well, to me, those companies have to now take a look at what's available and determine what's best for them. And yes, just like you described, you can go all the way from a, just problem solving to a full deployment to training and so on. Now, here is one thing, and then we can go on, but I would like to caution. We have had some people or some companies in the past who say, you know what? We just want training. You come in and train us in, uh, let's say, Greenbelt. Okay, we go in and we, we, we tell them, okay, here's the pitfalls and so on, but we go in and we train them. Well, they have no leadership or management support, and so they're contained within the team. They don't uh, network or they don't seek after further knowledge or say, you know, here's what has happened. Uh, we don't understand why this tool hasn't helped us or whatever. And then uh, they don't get the success level that they could have with their project because they did it strictly based on the small amount of training that they got without any oversight without any uh, support and so on uh, to build confidence and so on. Right. Well, I have found that sometimes those teams are not as successful mm -hmm. as they could have been. Mm -hmm. So there's caveats probably to uh, any approach. Sure. Uh, but uh, yes, to answer your question, a company nowadays should take a look at their need, their vision and their plan, and they can go all the way from problem solving to full deployment. And I would call all of that Lean Six Sigma.